This is Star Wars Sound Design. In the production of a film, there's really three jobs that relate to what you hear in the final soundtrack. Three creative jobs which ultimately result in what you hear. One of them is the production recordist, which is a person who is recording during the actual filming of a movie. They'll have a microphone on the set and they will gather dialogue and some sound effects if they're available during the actual shooting. Secondly, you'll have a sound editor, and this is a person back in a studio who generally has a collection of sound or is able to go out and make new recordings with a portable tape recorder or something like that and bring them back and edit them and fit them into and add them onto the soundtrack of the film itself. And the third person is a sound mixer. And this is a person whose job is to blend together all the different sounds that come in to make up a soundtrack, such as music, dialogue, and sound effects. Hello there, my name is Jordan Rennells. I'm a sound engineer and composer. Join me as we listen, enjoy, and recreate the iconic sounds that we've all grown up with from that galaxy far, far away. We'll listen to the genius sound design of Ben Burt and the others that followed after him as we explore how these iconic sounds were brought to life. I'll then do my best to recreate them myself. Some sounds will be easier than others, and I'm sure I won't get them all 100%, but I'm sure the journey will be fun and a worthwhile one. So I hope you'll join me in my love of Star Wars sound design. We must be cautious. I went all over the place to record things. One of the places I went was to a company which tests jet engines inside before they're put on a full-size aircraft. And I went into their test chambers and put some microphones up. And of course, then you don't stay in the test chamber because they, they run the engines up to full speed in a tiny room and the sound would probably kill you if you stayed in there. But I had a microphone in there wrapped in towels to kind of muffle the sound just a little bit. But out of that recording uh, came the sound of reverse thrusters, which is the, the sound of a jet engine when an airplane commercial jet lands and it hits the runway, it actually reverses the airflow in the engines uh, to slow the plane down. And that reverse thrusting, whining sound that the engine makes is what was used for the pass-bys of Luke's land speeder. Look, there's a droid on the scanner, dead ahead. Might be our little R2 unit. Hit the accelerator. One day, maybe I was bored, I took um, my microphone and I put it inside the pipe that's part of the uh, suction device on a vacuum cleaner. And I held it out the window and I just pointed it at the Los Angeles freeway. And the roar of the freeway as it went through this metal pipe and then to the microphone had a funny kind of phasing or slight echoing to it. And that became the sound of the force field of the land speeder as it hovers in space. It became the basis actually for all the kind of levitation force fields, which are used in many Star Wars speeders and other, uh, and other vehicles. All right, so that's what I did. I went out and I got a vacuum cleaner hose and I went to the highway nearby and I put my microphone Inside it, I played with a few different kind of depths, how far into the vacuum cleaner tube I put the microphone, but uh, the results were pretty cool. So I'll just play that whole sample that I have, the different kind of variations of this sound, and then let's try and manipulate it after to see if we can get it to sound a little bit closer to what Bert did. So here we go.
All right, some cool starting points there. Now, there definitely sounds like there's layers that are going on in Bert's example. And one of the layers that I hear sounds like it's a kind of pitching down version of one of these sounds. So let's start by trying to figure that out. I'm going to grab that last sample. I like that last one. So we'll grab that one, and I'm going to just put a slow down pitch bend on it and see how that comes across. actually really like that but we need to pitch it higher so I'm gonna pitch it up a few semitones and see if I can get it closer to that higher screech that he had in his original <laughs> I kind of like that. Let's see if we can layer that with one of the originals from earlier on and see what they sound like stacked on top of each other. Right now, in his version, again, it sounds like there's not really that much low end. There's a lot of low end in mine. So I'm going to EQ some of that out and see if that improves things now. that so far. Let's check out and see if I can find a sample of that reverse thruster that he was talking about. I have a library collection that might have one of those in there. So let me have a look and see how this sounds. There we go. Okay, so there's a part in there that I really liked. So I'm going to just take away just that one little piece and let you guys hear that on its own. The one part that I kind of thought would layer well with what we have. So Now let's pitch that up again just a little bit just to kind of match it with what we were doing earlier. Let's see how that sounds. You can hear that as I pitch it up a little bit, it breaks up the signal a little bit. It kind of distorts it a little. And that's not ideal, obviously, but it actually is kind of adding an interesting flavor to it. So I'm going to leave it. So let's add that on with our previous examples from the vacuum cleaner tube and see how they all sound together. All 
great. I don't know about you guys, but I think that that sounds like a pretty passable land speeder. Let's listen to the original really quickly and just see how that compares. And then ours again. There we go. Not bad. All right, well, that's just a simple, simple sound for today. Still a lot of fun to go out there and record those sounds at the highway. I'm sure that people walking by and driving by must have thought that I was a little crazy, but that's what it's all about. So if you want to see pictures of that, then you can head over to Star Wars Sound Design on Instagram, and uh, you can check out the Facebook group as well. There's a Facebook group and a Facebook page, so go and like those and join in and check out the photos that I'm going to post about all this stuff. And just let me know how I did. What do you think? What could I have done differently? And what can I do for future episodes? And speaking of future episodes, that basically wraps it up for today's episode of Star Wars Sound Design. But as I've said in the past, a lot of what goes into making these episodes happen is going out and recording these sounds, going out to the highway and stuff like that. But uh, I also have to resort to sound libraries sometimes. So for that, I need to spend some money on those. So if you're interested in helping out the podcast, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Star Wars Sound Design. I only have a $3 tier there. That's it. And you can help out the podcast and get access to a couple bonus episodes and making those that I'm going to post for as many of the episodes as I can. Those making of kind of come and go. It depends on the scenario that it takes to build this kind of recording this one is a little bit simpler so i didn't have to go through a whole process for it but there's a lot of episodes like that up there already and there's going to be more i'm working on the camino uh, episode soon so that's going to be really cool to experience in 3d immersive sound what it would be like to be on camino the the tatooine episode is already up so you can check that out but that is all at patreon.com forward slash star wars sound design so that was our first vehicles episodes i hope that you really like that and next up we actually have our first weapons episode which is going to be a really cool time and what better place to start than with all right i can't wait thanks so much for listening and until next time may the force be with you